Hello and welcome. We'd like to welcome you all here to Coburn Ice Arena in Perth for the Perth Inferno's home opening series against the Brisbane Lightning. Welcome to uh, AWHL TV powered by Sportscast Australia. My name is Gordon Goodenough and I am joined by Andrew McDougall. How are you uh, going today, Andrew? Going very well, Gordon. It's great to be here after some uh, flight delays for the Brisbane Lightning, some pushback puck drop times I've settled in and I'm ready for a ripping contest here tonight yes the uh, spare a thought for the Brisbane Lightning is spending seven hours in Brisbane Airport yesterday uh, getting in uh, early this morning having a quick few hours of sleep in the hotel before getting up and ready for a game day today uh, so they will be keen to uh, get get their skating legs under them and get off to a hot start in this one. Uh, close contest, couple of uh, intriguing intriguing uh, matchups last week. And Andrew, as we yeah, look at those was. scores. Sorry, Andrew, you keep going. Yeah, it certainly was Gordon. That nine zero shutout game on game one. Um, probably doesn't really reflect the closeness of these two teams as we've seen on Game 2 on the Sunday, the 4-3 overtime win by the Perth Inferno. So I'm looking forward to the two games across this week, and I think we should have some quite con tight contests as well. Both teams certainly see themselves as a title contenders as we bring up the standings. The Adelaide Rush in top spot. Uh, them, the Melbourne Ice and the Sydney Sirens are inactive this weekend. It is just the Perth Inferno and the Brisbane Lightning. Perth have a chance to, both Perth and Brisbane have a chance to uh, be tied on points at the top of the table if they clean sweep the weekend. Uh, the Perth Inferno would be level with the Adelaide Rush on win or points percentage. Uh, any surprises in the standings there for you, Andrew? Not really. We we probably get a better understanding once Perth play these two home games as well. As we know, Perth have played a couple of games and had a, had a week off and then travelled again and play another couple of games. So they'll get two more games under their belt and sort of even out the contest of the for the league. Yep, yeah, uh, it's it's the Perth Inferno's first home games, the Brisbane Lightning's first away games uh, for the season. Uh, in a weird, a little early season quirk, the away teams are have a record of nine wins and five losses. So perhaps, I, I know you mentioned last week, Andrew, that perhaps going on the road would be a good thing for this Brisbane Lightning team. Yeah, I just think after spending six games at home on home ice, um, going away on the road, and you just have that closer bond, you hear about it from each team um, through the locker rooms that going out on the road, spending a a weekend together just bonding and and doing things as a team can only be a good thing i think well there was a lot of bonding time in the airport but at least the team got outside of the airport today uh talking to head coach matt meyer uh he, he mentioned that the the players got together and, and went out dipped their toes in the indian ocean uh so making the most of the beautiful weather in earth today There are a couple of players missing for the Brisbane Lightning unavailable are Lindsay Kalinick and Jamie Goonan. So the team ha is, uh, has travelled with 10 forwards and 5 defenders. We'll see how that impacts lines uh, dur during the game. Uh, Perth Inferno have a full roster. They'll be looking to make good use of the numbers in their homestand here. I think Lindsay Clinic and 
Jamie Goon will be a couple of big losses for the Lightning as well, Gordon, across this weekend. Uh, on the blue line and, and clinics, uh, work rate, um, getting into those really tight areas along the boards and working hard in front of the net will be something that the Lightning will miss across these two games. Kalenic is just so good in face-offs and in one-on-one -on -one battles, uh, she, she doesn't lose very many 50-50 uh, battles. So definitely big losses for the Lightning, but they have other weapons uh, both up front and on the back end. The Perth Inferno also have some offensive firepower of their own. They have a few players coming back into the lineup. Georgia McClellan and Lily McClellan uh, make their way back into the team. Georgia McClellan, such a key piece of that defense. Uh, so we'll see what uh, this one has to bring. And Molly Lakoviak, uh, Andrew, seems to have found a place uh, on defense as well. Yeah, she definitely has. That's something that the Perth Inferno um, coaching staff are quite happy with. And I think it's going to continue throughout the season or in the foreseeable future anyway. Head coach Graham Hyde was very happy with her mobility, her ability to skate with a puck and not back down from a battle as well. So as we pause, we'll have our pre-game ceremony.
of knowledge, the traditional custodians of the lands on which we play our game today. The Wajak people of the Noma Nation, we pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. And we extend that to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders here today. Thank you. This broadcast is proudly brought to you by the following partners Nesuto Apartments, Sportslink Travel, and it's powered by Sportscast Australia. Welcome back to the uh, Coburn Ice Arena in Perth. We have the Brisbane Lightning 
facing off against the Perth Inferno. I am Gordon Goodenough, joined by Andrew MacDougall. Uh, it was lovely to see AWHL Commissioner Michaela Fellows with the ceremonial puck drop and the pre-game speech. Uh, what are your thoughts ahead of this one, Andrew? My initial thought, Gordon, is we predicted this during the week that there was going to be a healthy, energetic and loud crowd here at Coburn Ice Arena and we are not disappointed. The Perth Inferno supporters have waited a long time for the first home series. So it's fantastic to hear and see everyone at the rink. It was a, it was a long pre-game. I was anticipating them to play the second verse of the national anthem, but just sticking with the one verse. We have Sasha King is going to be starting in goal for the Perth Inferno. And I believe it will be after talking with head coach Matt Meyer earlier today. It will be Katie Meyer in net for the Brisbane Lightning today. Tracy McIntosh to gets the the job in goals tomorrow and it's sarah sammons and shanita crompton in the draw and brisbane get the puck into the perth zone Kept in nicely there by Dixon. Irvine advances it up the, to the half wall and now Perth are out of the zone. But they'll have to go right back in as Brisbane dump it in. It's, it's Sharnita Crompton. Has Wathritson support in the corner but takes a skate. From the half wall. Cycles it back down low. Here's Watts. This is an interesting early line. Watts, Wathrich, and Shanita Crompton. And it's Watts in the corner. Gets the puck up high to the blue line. That's fired on by Alison Carlisle. Saved by King. And now it's Sarah Sammons who's going to skate it out. Has support from Noddle, but they'll need to change. They've been on all game so far. Long defensive shift. Puck in neutral ice. It's Acker after it. Stolen by Brisbane deep in the zone. Unable to capitalize though as the Inferno get it clear. And the puck just dumped in. Perth are yet to really have any offensive possession in the offensive zone. The shot is blocked and here's Courtney Mahoney in the corner. Good support there from Wathridge. Puts, puts his shot on. It's good save by King. Good early save. Positional save. Here's Scala, just skates over that puck, and that was nearly costly as Mahoney was eager to capitalize. Kilgallen, the Sasha King, uh, recording, of course, last weekend her first AWI so, uh, shutout in that Saturday game, the 9 0 victory over the Brisbane Lightning. So, congratulations to Sasha King in a league that's that averages close to 10 goals per game getting a shout out is pretty significant isn't it Andrew yeah absolutely Gordon a fantastic performance um someone that the Perth Inferno have really been able to rely on this season battle along the boards here Dug out temporarily, but it's in behind Perth's net. And the puck, this could be dangerous. Opportunity here now opening up for the Inferno. Shot fired. Great save by Katie Meyer. Great work by the Inferno. Dixon tried to keep it in the offensive zone, but the Inferno able to break free here. Odd man rush. Katie Meyer makes the save. Against the run of play a bit there, Gordon. Yeah, that was, that was good work by Lily McClellan to turn defense into attack. 
And the first real chance for the Inferno as Irvine fires the shot from distance. It takes an awkward bounce, but Mayo just steers it aside into the corner. Perth, keep the puck in nicely. Nuddle is after it, battling with Rapchuk. Gets some support from McKenzie. Jamie McKenzie. Good debut last weekend, last Saturday, scoring two goals. Sammons and McKenzie is, is poking at the rebound and is dumped for her efforts onto the ice. A couple of nice saves from Katie Moore as well, who performed quite well last Sunday in that 4-3 overtime loss. As you see there, Definitely. McKenzie digging away. Brisbane doing a good job there early of, of sealing or boxing out and, and making sure that McKenzie couldn't get much on that one. As Brisbane now the, heading the other way. Pass just goes ahead of Brown. Back to Rapture. Back down low to Brown. Mahoney now in behind the net. Back to, back to Brown and back to Mahoney. Up to the half wall. Nice edge work there from Wathridge. But Perth are able to get a stick on it and clear. Mahoney. Fight in the corner and Mahoney comes out with it. Cycles it back around the boards. Centering pass picked off there by McClellan. But... Brisbane are able to regain control, and now there's a bit of confusion as to whose assignment. Getting after the puck is Webb. Stolen again by, by Brisbane. It's Otto who fires a shot on King, and, shot, and King manages to cover up the puck with no rebound. Now, if you're, the, if you're a Brisbane Lightning fan, you've got to be really, really happy with this start. They've shown real solid intent, strong on the forecheck, Emma Wathrich has been outstanding to start this game. Face off won by the Inferno, but kept in at the line by Dixon. And Dixon again keeps the puck in. Gets it! That was a tricky little deflection by Otto. And King covers it up. Bit of an awkward one there, bit of a tip. King able to cover it up. Kings look sharp early. Brisbane doing some good job of getting people to the net. But King doing a good job and not allowing a rebound for a secondary opportunity. Puck finally clears the zone. Hokit, Tracy Hokit. Brisbane are gonna, yes, delayed offside. They were gonna need to clear before the puck was touched there, but just touched in the zone for the offside call. Face off one by Crompton and Badgley gets the puck deep into the zone. Irvine. Nice little chip pass up the boards, but not out. Crompton does well of cutting that pass off. And now back to Irvine. We'll get another opportunity. Picked off again. And the puck goes over the boards and out of play. The Inferno just really struggling to get it out of the defensive zone at the moment. The Lightning doing a good job on the blue line, trapping it in. And they're just happy to sort of dump it in and chase it down and then, then work from there as well, the Lightning. Mahoney in the dot and wins the draw. Back to Carlisle. Keeps that puck in, only just. And Mahoney after it in the corner. She'll go for a skate and the puck just goes off her stick and exits the zone. And it's Dixon who wanders back, keeping possession. And 
finally the puck comes down the other end into the Brisbane zone. But Brisbane are able to clear quickly. McClellan tries to get that puck in, is stymied. And it's, they'll need to regroup. Zoe Webb. Uses McClellan. McClellan back quickly up to Lily McClellan. That was Georgia McClellan to Lily McClellan. Sarah Sammons. Shot just goes wide. Sammons. In behind the net. Tries to centre. Good defensive work by Brisbane to not allow that pass through. And Brisbane are back the other way. But... Just offside uh, again. We see Salmons on the puck there. That's something the Inferno will be looking for tonight as well. Hasn't scored a goal since game one of the season. We'll be looking to get back on the score sheet at home ice here. Scored two goals in that game against the Melbourne Ice. As the Inferno have possession. Kilgallen just cycles it back around to Lakoviak. Or reverses. Lakoviak up to McClellan. Puck is stolen by Brisbane though, and then put back deep into the zone. Perth are having to work very hard here. There's Larpin. Larpin chips, his up, chips it up now to Lily McClellan. McClellan goes cross ice. And the puck just goes off over the stick there of Charlie Charlie's Navatsis. They'll need to reset. There's Navatsis ag again. And we have a whistle. Just feels like the Inferno are starting to just stick some of those tape to tape passes now, Gordon. Starting to find their rhythm a little bit. Face off one by the Inferno, and it's Irvine back in her own zone after it. Has some support from Acker that just deflects off Acker's stick, and Brisbane are able to gain possession now. It's Wathridge cutting in, and King with a good save. We spoke about Wathridge early, it's been really impressive. Six games this season, to... four goals, six assists for, for Rutheridge. A premier player so far for the Brisbane Lightning. Just tried to sneak that short side on Sasha King. King's had to be sharp in this one so far, Andrew. Yeah, she's looked good, though. And the Lions person will drop the puck again. Irvine just rims that puck around. Scala tries to get it out. Puck is stolen, but Perth have it back. In the neutral zone now. Michelle Clark Crumpton and Acker after it. Scala just dumps McDonald onto the ground. And now it's Clark Crumpton. Potential two on one there that was thwarted. Marina Noddle back up to Scala. Gala tries to deke. Puck is stolen, but Clark Crompton picks up the crumbs. And now Brisbane just dump the puck deep into the zone. Battle along the boards here. And Brisbane come out with it. Shot fired on Sasha King. And King... Just wraps that one up nicely. Yeah, it's sort of shot King will, will save all night. Not a lot of traffic there in front of her. And a face off draw one by Brisbane. A shot trickles in on King, and we'll have another whistle, another stoppage in play. 
Uh, how do you beat a goaltender like Sasha King, Andrew? Oh, I think you just got to try and try and get those bodies in front and try and get some redirections. Um, just keep her moving across the crease. If she's got plenty of time to see it, she's going to save it. Yeah, I, I think the Inferno are happy about shots that are coming from distance and from the boards. Those are ones that Sasha King will will save 99 times out of 100. So yes, getting traffic in front. Uh, we chatted with head coach Matt Meyer for the Brisbane Lightning, and that was definitely uh, part of their uh, training for this game or preparations for this game was how to solve the puzzle that is King as the Inferno go the other way. And what a save by Katie Meyer. Great save by Meyer as the Inferno break free. Look like Salmon's again on the puck, coming down the left wing. Just plays it through. Great save by Meyer on Jamie McKenzie. We spoke about Salmon's earlier. Looks real lively tonight. So a bit of a different second line for the Inferno with uh, Salmon's, with McKenzie, and with Marina Nottle. Last weekend, it was a Salmons, McKenzie, and Isla Malcolm. As the puck is dumped in, and I believe that will be called back for icing. Jamie McKenzie scored two goals on debut, including an assist. Looks like a really, really good player for the Inferno. I know we chatted with head coach Graham Hyde at the NHL Global Series, and he mentioned how excited he was about Jamie McKenzie and Sarah Sammons being added to this lineup. They certainly do see themselves as title contenders. The early indications are that they are definitely in with a chance. There is a delay penalty call here. Katie Meyer has been pulled from the net for an extra attacker. As Shanita Crompton fires a shot that goes wide. And here's Mahoney. Mahoney in a battle, and Perth will touch the puck and go to the penalty box. Once again on that sequence, Wathrich with the puck had plenty of time up near the blue line and then found the puck again behind the net. Just played it in front, but Crompton couldn't find a way past King. Wathrich, been the best Lightning player, I think, so far. So you'll see, you'll see Alison Carlisle as the uh, right in front of the net, big body, usually on the blue line with partnered with Katrina Rapchuk, who just dished the puck off there to Wathrich. And Wathrich chips it nicely ahead, creates some space. There's Carlisle, feeds it back to Wathrich, back up high to Rapchuk. That shot just goes over the stick doesn't get much on it and king is able to save that shot no rebounds so Wathrich all over this offense again just with the hands just creating space moving the defenders around perth win the face off and are able to clear the zone Rapchuk gathers from in front of Katie Meyer. Wathrich gets his own entry back up high to Wathrich. Wathrich to Mahoney fired on King and King saves. So Wathrich and Rapchuk have been combining quite well on that first power play unit. They're moving the puck around nicely, the Lightning. See this, how this second power play unit looks. Face off, scrambled one. Good work by Brown there to, to get up to try to win the puck and kept in well at the line by Hokit. Brisbane patiently 
Fires a pass, shot pass across. Just misses Brown's stick. And the puck is out of the zone. Hokett needs to come back for it now. Sammons, the four checker for the Inferno, always a threat. Lakoviak spins and clears, but only as far as the neutral zone. And now here's Sammons. Sammons dangles, kept to the outside. Now Scala. Scala providing some support. Sammons fighting for it. But Brophy is able to clear it out of the danger area. And Brophy again. Clears it up, but only as far as Lakoviak. But Lakoviak has the puck stolen from her, and it's Georgia Watts. Watts, dynamic player. That shot is blocked. Gets onto King, though. That was a little bit awkward. Battle now here along the boards. And the puck gets out to neutral ice. And we'll have another whistle. And... It looks like a, a, a bench penalty for too many players on the ice against the Brisbane Lightning. So we will have some a, a potential Perth Inferno power play here. And some great work by Scala and Sammons on that penalty kill. Just to trap it in the offensive zone for the Inferno. Just takes vital seconds off the clock. That sort of stuff can lift the bench. Face off one by the Inferno. McClellan back up to Sammons. Sammons overskates that puck temporarily. Back at it now. Goes to work on the half wall. Back down low. Puck gets cleared by the Lightning. And Perth will have to reset now. From its own zone. Here's George McClellan. Nice little spin. Clark Crompton with the puck. Back to Scala. Back up high. Shot by McClellan. That gets on to Meyer, but Meyer keeps it out. And now McClellan will skate with it back and neutralize. Brisbane are able to change some players over, get some fresh skaters on the ice. Carlisle in behind the net, battling with Scala. And the Inferno nearly are able to get an attempt on goal there through Clark Crompton. Clearance attempt is stopped by Sammons. And now Sammons with the puck at the blue line. Assessors options blocked and knocks the stick out of the hands there of the Lightning player. And Brisbane are able to just clear. Irvine was trying to keep that puck in. And Brisbane have stolen the puck. Here's Crompton. Shanita Crompton on King. Just lifts it over the top of goal. And now it's Badgley. Again, taking vital seconds off of this power play. It's Katrina Rapchuk. Back to Badgley. Back to Rapchuk. Just a few seconds left. And... You wouldn't know it, but Brisbane have less players on the ice. They're up to a full team now. And Perth will be heading to the penalty kill now. It looks like a tripping call. Just see the replay here. Crompton just lifts it over the bar. A few power plays now consecutively between the two, te the two teams. We saw this on Sunday, and you don't want to keep giving this Brisbane power play unit too many chances. They have uh, some elite players uh, in this power play group, one of which is Wathrich, who is pitting the per McClellan along the boards. But McClellan gets free and clears that puck all the way down the other end. Kill Gallon. Good wheels. 
to get after it first. It's just angled off the puck there. But good work by Kilgallen. The Brisbane gained the zone. Kilgallen again causing issues there, but falls over. Brisbane able to advance the puck in deep now. Wuthrich. Her and Rapchuk swap sides and fire it on from distance, but that doesn't get through. And McKenzie is able to clear for the Inferno. Crompton. Back to Rapchuk. Just stolen by the Inferno. A few errant passes. And now here's a two-on-one developing that pass from Scala to two Salmons just went a little too far for Salmons. But it's first time to apply pressure in the offensive end, despite being shorthanded. Wathrich, great dig! In on goal, and King saves! Here's Wathrich again. We've spoken about her a lot tonight. Just making her way through the neutral zone here, past Scala and Salmons. And straight into the logo of King. Scala and Salmons have looked good on the penalty kill. It's a, it's a dangerous penalty killing unit. But yeah, great angles by Emma Wuthrich, Nifty Mittens. Brisbane with the puck in the offensive zone. Picked off now. The Inferno are able to clear. And Brisbane will have to reset its Brophy after it. Brophy who played her 50th AWIHL game last weekend. So congratulations to Sam Brophy for that achievement. Brisbane dumped the puck down the other end. But as the penalty has expired, that will be called back for icing. The first icing of the contest, which is good to see, I think. Brisbane won't want to be making too many icing penalties, of course, not at the best of times, but not after you've just had a few hours of sleep due to flight delays and cancellations. Good opportunity for the Inferno, perhaps, to trap some a tired unit out on the ice. Here's Lily McClellan. Nice work to evade her opponent. Brophy in behind the net. Nice little spin back to Dixon. Dixon in the in behind the net now. Chips it up ahead. Away from McClellan. Picked off by Kilgallen. Now Novatsis. Picked off by the Lightning. And the Lightning will be able to clear the zone. They'll just be happy to dump the puck in and they'll change some bodies. Hokut gets the puck in, but there's a whistle. I think that was just offside. Face off one, and it is. It's Sarah Sammons who steals the puck. Shot on goal! Kept out by Katie Meyer. Irvine chips the puck in deep. Perth have to clear. Brisbane. They gain the zone through Rapchuk centering feed. Doesn't miss by much. Here's Sammons. That was an adventurous little backhand pass. Stolen by the Lightning and Wuthrich. Wuthrich in on goal. Great save by King. Back in the corner. Wraps up. Back to Mahoney. Mahoney. Tried to get it to Wuthrich in front of the net. But that's stolen by the Inferno. 
Brisbane are pressing here towards the end of the period. A goal would really go to the legs of this Lightning team. Puck is chipped in. Battle in the corner. Georgia Watts providing some secondary support there. Puck squeezes out to Dixon. Dixon! Shot on, and that is held by Sasha King. Some terrific goaltending saves at both ends in the last few minutes. Katie Moore with a nice left pad save on Salmons, and then Sasha King doing the same against Wuthridge. And King again just covers up the puck after that came out in front. The Lightning have worked hard. Sorry, you keep going, Andrew. No, I was just going to say, Gordon, the Lightning have worked really hard in this first period. If they I can get a goal... Some... Sorry, yep. If they can get a goal and go into this, into the intermission, 1-0 up, they'll be very, very happy. Unless that is the intermission. Yeah, that is the intermission. So I believe the uh, you could tell the Brisbane Lightning were the visiting team because they were trying to figure out how to exit the ice uh, from, from whereabouts. Um, so uh, we, we will have a, an ice cut here after the first period of play. Uh, so uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about 15 minutes for the second period.
Serena. It, after 20 minutes of play, it's still scoreless between the Perth Inferno and the Brisbane Lightning. We are, uh, my name is of course Gordon Goodenough. I'm joined by Andrew McDougall. We're with Sportscast Australia on AWIHL TV. Last weekend was a big weekend for Elizabeth Scala, Andrew. Yeah, absolutely, Gordon. Scoring the scoring the game winner in the in the OT, but also picking up 50th goal. Just a slap shot, rips one from the right hand side. What a way to bring up your 50th Australian Women's Ice Hockey League goal, Gordon. We we had a talk on uh, the weekly wraparound show last week with Sarah Doromaja, who uh, you know, long time AWIHL goaltender. And she mentioned that, that Elizabeth Scala is, is one player that she was always aware of when she was on the ice. As the, we are underway here in the second period. Perth trying to get the puck out of their own end. There is Scala, who just puts the puck. It somehow uh, stays, stays on the ice. Looked like it was going to skip over the boards there. Puck comes in deep into the offensive zone, but Brisbane are able to regain control. Shout out to oh Jamie McKenzie with a shot on goal. And Scala trying to dig at the rebound. Here's McKenzie in the corner. Gets a back up high to the blue line. That just skips over McClellan's stick. And she'll pass it back to Webb. Webb. Around the boards to McKenzie. Brisbane just steal it in neutral ice. Webb after it. Gathers the puck. Pressured by her opposite number Mahoney, but gets the puck out well. Great breakout here by the Inferno. They chip it in. Here's Hokut. Hokut cuts back to avoid Noddle. Has some support from Brown. McClellan using the body to keep the puck in and the puck goes out of play. Been very impressed with Georgia McClellan. Just breaking up plays, getting in the right positions. Looked very, very solid tonight. Face off one by the Inferno. Both McClellan sisters were missing in action last week and for the Inferno, so the Inferno will be glad to have them back for this contest as the puck is put in deep by the Inferno. Puck comes all the way out though, and here's Abby Webb. Uses Kilgallen. Kilgallen takes a whack at it, but doesn't connect. Wuthrich is able to steal. That's Kate Barbour in the in the number one jersey today. And here's Kilgallen. Kilgallen fired from distance. And Meyer just pads that away into the corner. Novatsis cycles it back around to Kilgallen. Kilgallen, good move. Fire just goes wide. Novatsis in the corner. Otto does some good work along the boards to get that puck out and into the neutral zone. Irvine. She'll try to get the puck back in. Brisbane. Do a good, good work standing up at the blue line. And here's Clark Crumpton now. Finally gaining the zone for the Inferno. Has... Needs some support though. Fires on. That's saved. That shot doesn't get through from Lakoviak. You can hear the call from the Brisbane bench to get to the red line and put the puck in. They fired that from behind the red line, so it will come back for icing. And some tired legs will stay on the ice for the Lightning, Andrew. Yeah, we'll see if the Inferno can take advantage of those tired legs. Kill Gallon though, Gordon. A few plays there. One of the shots coming from the left-hand side just couldn't get enough on it to really trouble Katie Meyer. Was uh, fun to see Sasha King dancing as well, head bopping along to the in rink music. 
She has been the busier of the two goaltenders after the first period. The Brisbane Lightning outshot the Inferno 13 to 6. Perth keeps the puck in. Starting this period a lot better than the first period. Scala applying pressure on Carlisle. Michelle Clark Crumpton now. She cycles it back to Scala. Scala tries to dig. Finally wins it back. The shot doesn't get through. Second shot does. That's saved by Meyer. Clark Crumpton just loses an edge. And here's Scala in the corner. Clark Crumpton with support. And it just gets away from Molly Lakoviak. Lakoviak's circles nicely. Puck is stolen off right off her stick there by the Lightning. And now it's Crompton in alone on King. And King denies Crompton. Able to skate in the zone at will, seemingly, Shanita Crompton. Emma Wuthrich in the corner. Wuthrich. Back and behind the net to Crompton. And that gets to Brown and saved by King. Did you just see there in the pitcher and pitcher, Crompton just put on the burner through the neutral zone. Was able to dangle her way through. Couldn't beat King. Face off one by the Inferno. Oh, adventurous pass. It's picked off by the Lightning. Lightning in behind the net now. Centering feed doesn't get through. And the Inferno are able to clear. And here's Sammons. Look at her go. Sarah Sammons gets to that puck first. Unbelievable speed. And that goes wide. Here's Mackenzie now in behind the net. Wathrich has now some time and space to clear. She'll go for a skate. Puck goes, bounces over Abby Brown's stick. And it's the Inferno in again. That shot attempt goes into the corner. Noddle. Back up high. Here's Webb. Webb cycles it back down low. Here's Kilgallen. Kilgallen with a wraparound attempt. That doesn't go. Brisbane are able to clear and just dump the puck in and they'll change. Kilgallen has been really impressive early on in this one. She gains his own, fighting for it along the boards. There's Gennep. She's, she's just drawn a penalty, it looks like. As she is tripped and a lightning player will go to the box. Really strong opening five minutes from Kilgallen. Absolutely everywhere, getting shots on goal, working down behind the net, along the boards, drawing a penalty there. Now the Inferno will go on the power play. But Sarah Sammons has got something that not a lot of skaters in this league have got, and that's just electrifying speed. Perth now setting up on the power play. Just fans on that shot, Sammons. But here's Scala. Uses McClellan. McClellan fires. And that's saved by Meyer. Another shot just goes wide. Clark Crumpton. Here's Clark Crumpton. Needs to be careful here. As Mahoney steals the puck. In on goal. That goes wide. I thought uh, Clark Crumpton would would draw uh, would would be called for a penalty there but avoids the penalty Mahoney causing all sorts of of danger for the lightning here's Scala going for a skate around the zone has the puck stolen and Brisbane will clear Shanita Crompton the four checker here's Noddle now Not all just comes offside there, isn't able to get back. And there'll be uh, an, a, a, a face off at the blue line.
draw one scrambled and one by the Inferno. Here's Irvine. Such a calming presence in defense. Goes for a bit of a skate, Irvine. The Lightning player just beaver tapping the, the stick, trying to draw a pass from Irvine. Irvine ignores it. Here's McKenzie. McKenzie trying to dig the puck out. And seconds, valuable seconds are coming off this power play. And Brisbane are able to clear, but only as far as neutral ice. Acker needs to turn around to find that one. Does so. McKenzie. Here's Lakoviak going for a skate. And that just goes wide and behind the net. Acker now. Beats it in front. That takes a, a fortunate bounce for the Lightning. And it, it's a two, two players on O. King makes a save. Good back checking pressure by the Inferno. And the puck goes all the way down the other end for Icing Andrew. What a what a sequence of play. Just a, a weird bounce, weird play on the blue line for the Inferno. And the Lightning able to break clear. But that was a couple of times they're able to do that in the last couple of minutes. But the Inferno have had three shots to two in this period. So they're starting to ramp up their offense a little bit. The problem is that two of those shots for Brisbane have been grade A scoring chances. So the Inferno will need, will look to, to push offense, but but preferably not at the cost of, of giving up grade A chances the other way, as the Lightning are able to steal the puck deep in the zone. McDonald, that goes around and behind the net. Back up high to Dixon. Dixon fires and, and McDonald was there for the tip. But King in good position for the save. Inferno were clear. The Koviak takes a tumble. Inferno will need to clear the zone for the delayed offside. Stolen by Scala. Scala playing with, with Salmons here, it looks like. This is one to keep an eye out for. Salmons, Scala, and Clark Crumpton. A heavy, heavily offensive line for the Inferno. There's Webb, gets the puck back up to Clark Crumpton. McClellan. Stolen by Dixon. Good work by Dixon. Wathrich and Scala. Wathrich with the diving poke check. Able to get that free. Watts tries a, a shot from distance that doesn't get through. But Brisbane are buzzing. Here's Wathrich. Wathrich with a, with a shot that's defect, deflected by Mahoney. Mahoney back up high to Rapture. Rapture. Back down low. Calls for the puck to come up to the point. Rapchuk just fires it back, back in deep. And here's Rapchuk. Fires a shot that doesn't get through. Dixon regrouping, surrounded by a couple of Inferno players. And now it's Brown in. Brown uses Wathrich. Wathrich can't get a shot away. Wathrich pivots. Creates some room back up high. That shot is just fanned on. And now it's Sammons using her speed. Gets the puck ahead of Rapchuk. Looking for some support. Finds it in Webb. Webb's shot goes wide. Salmons. Working in the corner. It's three against one here. Finally, Lily McClellan comes in to support Salmons. 
But Brisbane are able to use the numerical superiority and get it free, but only as far as Kilgallen. Kilgallen fires a shot on that Meyer has to be sharp to save. Now Lakoviak keeps it in at the blue line. Her shot saved by Meyer, and Meyer covers up the puck. Just some big chances either end, Gordon. As we look here on the replay, Katie Meyer able to cover up and then getting some help from Brophy coming in to say, you're not getting anywhere near our goaltender tonight. Well, we mentioned that early on that the Lightning had been doing a good job of, of boxing out the Perth Inferno forwards uh, for when there are rebound opportunities. It's continued now into this second period. The Inferno will have to find a way around that. Here's the Lightning. Centering feed. Kilgallen pressured here against the boards by Shanita Crompton. And it looks like there might be a penalty call here against the Lightning. Well, the Inferno will go back on the power play once again. Got Salmon, Scala, Clark, Crumpton, Noddle, and Georgia McClellan out there for the Inferno. So four forwards, one one defence for the Inferno. As the puck is cleared by the Lightning, McClellan gets to it first. Good speed from Sammons. Just escape that along the wing. Up against the boards now, and we'll have uh, a whistle for a face-off. If you give the Inferno enough opportunities on the power play, they'll eventually put one away. Shot fired on, Meyer saves the first attempt, gets to the second, isn't able to cover it up, puck is loose. Cycled back around by the Inferno. Comes up high, back down low, that, that was fired on Meyer, Meyer with a stretch save and a wraparound attempt. Great work by Brophy to block that off, there was an open cage, couldn't get it in. Brophy dove to stop that puck from crossing the line. Inferno still with it. Here's McClellan. McClellan goes for a deflection. That was kind of fired into the feet of the Inferno forward. McClellan's pass nearly picked off there by Wathrich. And now it's Sammons. Sammons in on Meyer! Takes a deflection and against the boards. Scala has that poked away. Sammons. 17 seconds left. You hear the call on, on the power play. Pass comes in front. Back up high now. Shot is blocked by Sammons. And now Carlisle gets to the puck in the corner. And we're back to 5-on-5 five five hockey. Great penalty kill by the Lightning. But the Inferno were able to get a couple of good scoring chances. And McClellan will need to retrieve. Avoids the pressure from Shanita Crompton. Puck comes back out in front. Isn't able to gain control and the puck comes all the way back into Perth's defensive zone. Cross ice pass. Kilgallen's shot doesn't get through. It's Brisbane's turn on the breakout. And I believe we're going to have a penalty called here, Andrew, for tripping. 
Yeah, it looks like it. You see the play here. Georgia Watts going down. A couple of players nearest to the camera going down as well at the same time. But the Lightning now will go on the power play. And if you're a Lightning player, go across to Katie Moyer. Give her a tap on the pads. A couple of massive saves. In the last penalty kill. Face off one by the Lightning. Wathrich's shot attempt is blocked. Back in behind the net. Mahoney has Crompton. Uses her. Crompton now. Good pass across. Wathrich isn't able to collect it cleanly. It's a nice cross ice pass. Back to Crompton. Good connection between these two. Crompton fires. That doesn't get through. Mahoney. Back to Crompton at the half wall. They swap. Shot fired from the blue line. And King is able to make the first save. And the defense clear out the rebound. Now here's a battle. Sammons and Wathrich, and they both go down. I wonder what the call's going to be here. There are some extracurriculars going on. It's a bit of feeling in this one, Gordon. We see on the replay, Sammons again, and she's done all night chasing down those loose pucks. Ties up with Wuthridge. They go to the ice. We did mention Gordon on the last couple of games when we'd spoken to the coaches when you play each other consecutively. You do get that playoff sort of feel. I think the... the... Referees are going to spend a bit of time discussing and uh, unpacking what just happened and how to assess the penalties. But yes, we, we did chat about that. And, and particularly the first game had some some spicy uh, spicy elements to it. Uh, there was definitely some uh, feeling feelings between the two teams, some good battles, some post-whistle uh, activity. And it looks like we're seeing that uh, here as well. Certainly the Lightning uh, Lightning team uh, weren't happy with Salmons taking down their star import, Emma Wathrich. Well, when the Lightning played the Inferno on December 2nd, Emma Wathrich, who's had 20 penalty minutes this season, had 16 in that game. And... And talking to head coach Graham Hyde of the Inferno, he did point to that when I when I talked to him earlier today. He did point to Wuthrich taking a game misconduct penalty or a 10-minute penalty as being the turning point in that match. So it will be interesting to see which penalties are assessed. And Wathrich is coming off the ice. I think Wathrich is being sent to the showers early. Do you see the replay again? Very hard to see from our vantage point. What sort of happens after here? So Salmon's tangles with Wathrish. They both go down. It's a bit of pushing going on in the corner. 
Katrina Rapchuk comes in. I'm not sure what Wathrich has done in that corner. Well, I think I think the the Brisbane bench you could hear them uh, talking just uh, before, and uh, you you could hear um, to put it politely their lack of understanding of what of what she had done in that situation too. So uh, we'll wait to see what unfolds here. An intriguing situation. If Emma Wathridge is no longer taking part in this game with a Brisbane team that's already they've already had a, a an adventurous 30 hours or so with flight delays etc bringing over 15 skaters if they go down to 14 skaters here Andrew it could make a difference and when you add into the fact that Emma Wathridge is probably been Brisbane's best player so far tonight, involved in just about everything, especially offensively on the power play and even strength. It's a, it's a big, big blow. We will see how many players are, are on the ice for each respective team. Uh, we'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsors of the AWIHL, Ice Hockey Australia, Masuto, Sportslink Travel, and of course, Sportscast Australia. Shout out to producer Matt, who has been lining up the replays for us. Finding uh, finding Elizabeth Scala's 50th goal as well. Uh, and the graphics have been excellent so far. The Zamboni cam. I don't know if, if you have enjoyed the Zamboni cam. Who doesn't love watching a Zamboni clean the ice, Andrew? Yes, one day we might actually get to drive one, Gordon. Fulfill a lifelong dream? Quite possibly. While we are talking about the sponsors, Gordon, as it pops up on the screen again, I just want to give a quick shout out to the Perth Inferno, Brisbane Lightning social media teams as well. They do a terrific job of just bringing all the action and behind the scenes to all the fans and the sponsors and everyone involved in the sport. Yes, and I know chatting with head coach Matt Meyer, he is so grateful for the sponsor sponsors for the team. It enables them on away games uh, to be able to bring a, a full complement of coaching staff. Um, their major sponsor, of course, City Fertility, DFI Piling, uh, Bill Clean, uh, Heather Watson, uh, Powered, Black Sheep, Locks and, and Associates, Meet at Billy's, uh, and just a little help. Um, so thank you very much for your support of the Brisbane Lightning, for your support of hockey. And, you know, fans are pretty smart, Andrew. We, we say this a lot, but fans fans get to know what companies support the league and make sure they support them too. Absolutely. So s somehow, somehow, <laughs> as we... <laughs> We, we apologize. We Please bear with us. We're trying to work out what's happening at the same time as you are. It, it, it looked like in that camera shot that it was a three on four, but the face-off was in the offensive zone for the Inferno. It does indeed look like it's three on four hockey. The Inferno are short-handed. It's Scala taking a skate. The net comes off its, its moorings there. So I can give you an update that Emma Wathrich was assessed uh, a five-minute major for a slew foot. That was the penalty call. Um, so that was what, what happened uh, back there that the referees saw, Andrew. Sarah Sammons was assessed 
uh, two minutes for a roughing penalty. And of course, uh, Molly Lukoviak was already in the box for tripping. So that explains the uh, face-off being in the offensive zone for the Inferno. It's a five-minute major. Shot fired by the Lightning. The Lightning still on a power play for two minutes. Here comes Scala. Scala kept to the outside by Carlisle. Carlisle has been so good in defense for the Lightning. Clark Crompton in front for Scala. And that's saved by Katie Meyer. It's very hard to see from our vantage point and camera angle, Gordon, with those penalties. As we see this replay here, just feeding it out in front. Scala. Straight into the logo. Katie Meyer has been outstanding tonight. Well, we, when we talked with Sarah Dogramacha, she she did say that, you know, bo she loves boring goalies. If, if you're having to make spectacular saves, it means you're out of position. And Katie Meyer in perfect position on several occasions so far tonight as there's a heavy collision there. Lukoviak looks back and it's Brisbane. You are in on goal and King makes the save. As we see Katrina Rapchuk with some words of encouragement from the bench. When we talk about rivalries, Gordon, I think this is definitely one of the rivalries that is building and building every single contest. The teams faced each other in the bronze medal match last year. The Perth Inferno did come out narrow victors in that contest. But yes, they are certainly well-matched teams. The puck comes up to Brophy, but that's stolen, and this is dangerous now. Irvine dumps the puck in. McKenzie after it. McKenzie and Hokut. Hokut manages to get it out eventually. Second attempt there by Watts, and Watts gets the puck in deep. Here's Badgley. Badgley and Lakoviak comes out to... The Inferno. There's no, no player there. Dixon is able to get that puck away, but it's stolen. Here comes the Koviak. The Koviak button hooks. Fires a shot on. Meyer is able to save that one quite comfortably. Another great save from Meyer. The Koviak takes the blue line. She's looking across to her left there. Sarah Sammons was coming through the center, just couldn't find it and just put a shot on goal. But Katie Meyer, once again, great positioning. So with Sammons out of the box, that means it's the remaining three minutes of the major penalty against the Lightning. The Inferno on the power play for two minutes and change at the moment. And of course, because it's a major, if they score, they will remain on the power play for the full, um, full five minutes. Clark Crumpton. And behind the net, that was a nifty little feed. Sammons. Brisbane are able to get the puck out. Here's Noddle. McClellan tries to get it back to Noddle. Picked off temporarily, but Noddle has it now. Just bumps that off the wall to Scala. Scala now. Here's an opportunity for Clark Crumpton. And Meyer covers it up. Just doing a really good job, the Lightning. Just holding their shape. Just keeping the Inferno from getting anywhere near Katie Meyer. They're doing a great job for their goaltender. Face-off, scrambled one by the winger there for the Lightning. Here's Hokit. Hokit. That clearance attempt is stopped by Sammons. Puck comes in front for Scala. Scala has... That's a vital poke check by the Lightning. And Mahoney 
Mahoney has has the puck stolen by Sammons. Scala. Backhand attempt stopped by Meyer. Here's Clark Crompton! Winds and that shot is blocked. And Brisbane are able to clear. And that will do it. That's the end of two periods of play. The score is still tied at zero. Andrew, what did you make of that last 20 minutes? We had a bit of everything, I think, in that 20 minutes. Some penalties, some hits, some big chances. But at the moment, I think it's just it's a battle of the goaltenders and two young, talented goaltenders just standing on their heads as they give each other a little bit of a fist bump. Katie Meyer and Sasha King have been outstanding. Yeah, I think I think the Perth Inferno uh, have got to be uh, thinking that they've gotten off pretty lucky, especially with this that play there with uh, between Sammons and Wathrich. It's certainly I didn't see a, a slew foot there from from Wathrich. Again, we we don't see the entire angle, but um, I I think the Lightning. You could tell that they were a little bit upset, Andrew, about being assessed a major a major penalty, a, a game misconduct, which means Emma Wathrich is, is out of the game. I'm looking at their replay. I'm not sure what Emma Wathrich is supposed to do there. Um, trying to track down the puck on a power play. Doesn't know Salmon's coming from the left-hand side. And Salmon's makes initial contact and wraps up with Wathrich. And it looks like Wathrich just spins with the momentum and the speed of Salmons, and they both go to the ice. So I'm not sure from that angle, it doesn't look like a slew foot to me. I'm not sure what Wathrich is supposed to do. Yes, but we will let you digest that. You have been watching, of course, AWITL TV powered by Sportscast Australia. We'll have an ice cut, as you can see, and we'll be back uh, to join you in, rejoin you for the final period in just a few minutes.
Katie Meyer. That's Saturday scoring two goals. Sammons and McKenzie is, is poking at the rebound and is dumped for her efforts on my Brisbane. It's Otto who fires a shot on King and shot and, and King. Manager steps in at the line by Dixon. And Dixon again keeps the puck in. Gets it! That was a tricky little deflection by Otto. And King covers it up. Deflects off Akra's stick and Brisbane are able to gain possession now. It's Watfridge cutting in! And King with a good save. Preparations for this game was how to solve the puzzle that is King as the Inferno go the other way. And what a save by Katie Meyer. Hi. Shot by McClellan. That gets on to Meyer, but Meyer keeps it out. That puck in. And Brisbane have stolen the puck. Here's Crompton, Shania Crompton on King. Just lifts it over the top of goal. By being shorthanded. Wathridge, great deep. In on goal, and King saves. And here's Kilgallen. Kilgallen fired from distance. And Meyer just pads that away into the Kinyak. Circles nicely. Puck is stolen off, right off her stick there by the Lightning. And now it's Crompton in alone on King. Able to skate in the zone at will, seemingly. Shani to Crompton. Emma Watrich in the corner. Watrich back and behind the net to Crompton. And that gets to Brown and saved by King. Now setting up on the power play, just fans on that shot, Sammons. Here's Gala, uses McClellan, McClellan fires, and that's saved by Meyer. Another shot, just goes wide, Clark Crumpton. Here's Clark Crumpton, needs to be careful here, as Mahoney. Welcome back for the third period. Still scoreless here at Coburn Ice Arena. The Perth Inferno just finishing off a power play opportunity here on the five minute major penalty assessed for a slew foot to Emma Wathridge as Salmon's shot goes wide. As Michelle Clark Crumpton cycles it around. Scala. Back up high to the point. Shot on goal, that doesn't get through. And now Brisbane with an opportunity. Mahoney. Just fires that into the corner. Inferno now, breaking it out. There's Scala, in behind the net. Back to five on five hockey here. And that's going to be called for icing. That was a big chance for the Lightning right there. Back to five on five. That a three on one. And the pass just couldn't quite stick. And now it's an icing. Goes back down the other end. Could have been an early chance there. The shot count is uh, tied up at 18 shots apiece. As McClellan tries to go DVD. That's stolen. It's stolen back. <laughs> is that Sarah Magnuson? Indicated that opportunity for the Lightning. The puck goes all the way down the other end, and it'll be another icing. Would have been interesting to see what Brisbane Lightning head coach Matt Meyer had to say at the intermission, Gordon, with Emma Wathridge to take no longer part in the game. There would have been a bit of emotion from the Lightning players. So he would have had a big job to sort of settle things down and get them focused for the third period. Carlisle chips the puck up the boards.
Puck goes down, but King plays it. Here's Lakoviak going for escape. Has McClellan on the wing, uses her. Here's Lily McClellan. Puck goes into the corner. Nevada supplying pressure to keep it in. And finally, Brisbane are able to clear it out. Perth gaining the zone now. Meyer loves that attempt and will have a face off. Nice body check, too, from Alison Carlisle from the Lightning. Just to let the Inferno know that they can't come into that blue line easily. Poke it. Runs the puck around the boards. Puck it's just gets a, away from Mahoney. Sammons. Sammons loses an edge. And now Mahoney with the puck. Here's an opportunity. Back in front for Hokit. Just went back inside. Clears the zone. There's Brophy. Back into neutral ice, Watts. Here's Crompton. Crompton has the stick lifted last minute. Veteran play there by Sasha Irvine to prevent the shot opportunity at the last instance. Abby Webb, nice little circle there. Puck goes into neutral ice, and here's Michelle Clark Crompton after it. Icing is waved off. Crompton gets hauled down. No call. Lightning. That shot is deflected wide. Battle in behind the net. And it's Acker that gets it out. Scala pressuring Dixon. Here's Acker. Back up to the blue line. Comes back in, deflected away from goal by Carlisle. Back in front. Michelle Clark Crumpton didn't see that one. And Brisbane are able to get it clear. Here's Abby Brown. Fires a shot on King. King will. Just hold on to that one for a whistle. Take a breath, Gordon. There's end-to-end -end hockey there. I felt like the Lightning probably had the better of the chances. And one big chance that was emerging, but Tracy Hoke couldn't just get it onto that. A left-handed shot couldn't find it. And went to the backhand. This a nice little deep. Shot on King! That goes in behind the net and the net comes off its moorings. Looked like Abby Brown that went into the net. You see the replay here. Nifty, nifty hands. Oh, the puck was just sitting at the back door. Abby Brown trying to tap it in. Had a really good game tonight, Abby Brown. Dixon. Shot goes wide. Inferno aren't able to clear. Brisbane, good pressure here. Able to retain possession. Racing back across is Abby Brown. You, you are correct. Andrew has looked very impressive in this contest. Mahoney just tries to get around. Lukoviak, Lukoviak stops that, dumps it in. Ooh! Body's flying here. Kilgallen took a tumble. Referee's arm stayed down. Brisbane breaking it out. Mahoney tries to go through three. Carlisle just tried to keep that in and couldn't quite do it, so we'll have a face-off for offside. You can just see the replay here. 
Dixon just coming across. Taking down Kilgallen. Sammons now. Using a speed! Gets it across, but Meyer makes a save. And the net comes off again. That looked like a nasty collision. There is bodies flying everywhere right now. You see Salmons feeding the puck through. Ooh. Jamie McKenzie. Like a nasty one. Just a momentum. Mackenzie's still on the ice. Fingers crossed she's okay. We spoke about Mackenzie earlier in the contest, Gordon. Just been terrific so far for the Inferno since arriving. So we watch it again here. That's good to see. She is able to come off the ice with assistance. It looks like the Perth Inferno will be heading to the power play with the lightning assess a cross-checking penalty there against Mimi McKenzie. It's um, it's a tough call. Yeah, it is a tough call. Just looked like Lindsay Ada was just trying to put enough pressure on to sort of just interrupt the pass and draw a penalty, McKenzie. Carla, her, her shot attempt goes wide. Puck goes back in front. Here's Sammons battling at the half wall. Scala keeps it in. Sammons cycles it back down low. Good work by Sammons to buzz around the, the offensive zone and keep that puck in. That is an errant pass, though. Brisbane will be able to clear. King will want to get a hold of this one because there's a Lightning player out, and King is out of position. Tries to skate in front, and is that a goal? What a goal! Courtney Mahoney believes she's put it in. I haven't seen a signal from the referee. This will be a fascinating decision. You see the replay. Just trying to clear the puck. The King comes out, just bounces away, and then Sasha King's in two minds. Courtney Mahoney. Oh, it looks like King's done enough, I think just to keep it out. You see King there shaking her head. <laughs> oh. I think Courtney Mahoney is going to be called for a penalty here. Yes, I, I think she is. And I think that's... Uh, you can hear the... We will call it puzzle, the puzzle, um, the surprise from the Brisbane bench. Yet Sasha King just caught a no man's land there. Inferno have called a timeout. They'll have a five on three power play. Oh, I'm not sure if there is a penalty against. Courtney Mahoney, I'm not sure what for. To me, it looked like the puck was still active in the crease.
So Courtney, Courtney Mahoney has been assessed a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. So there will be, I believe, uh, a minute 22 of a five on three power play for the Inferno. And it's dig deep time for the Lightning. It is dig deep time. Face off one by the Inferno. Here's McClellan. Back across to Sammons. Back to McClellan. McClellan. To Scala. Back to McClellan. Sammons. McClellan. Shot gets on. Good save by Katie Meyer. Scala was on the doorstep. And Brisbane are able to clear. Clark Compton, back to Scala. Scala back up five. Clark pass. Here's Sammons. She fires. Gets, doesn't get through. Brisbane do a good job of keeping it away from Scala. Back to Scala. She's pressured by Rapchuk. Rapchuk after her. Comes back in behind the net. Back out in front. Sammons. Cycles it down low. Back up to McClellan. McClellan shoots. That's saved by Meyer and goes in behind the net. Brisbane bench getting behind their goaltender. Here's Sammons. Back to McClellan. McClellan fires. That doesn't get through. Blocked. Cleared. Sammons retrieves the puck. That should be that it's called onside. It, it looked offside to be fair. Puck is cleared down the other end. The Brisbane penalty killers are doing a fantastic job. Here's an Acker. That pass doesn't reach anyone. We're back to five on five hockey. It's a great penalty kill there by the Lightning. Can they use that big kill to create some offensive momentum? Puck lifted into neutral ice. Irvine's shot is saved. She chases after it. Good work. Puck comes in front. Here's McClellan. McClellan, that's saved by Meyer. And Brisbane clear. Brisbane player after it. Oh. I don't know why that has been called for icing. Well done to the Lightning penalty kill units. There was a couple of big moments in there from Katie Meyer, but also there was a big moment there from Katrina Rapchuk, who read the play beautifully on this left-hand side and got out to Elizabeth Scala. Just important little details. Shot from Webb. Clark Compton tries to tip that one, goes in behind the net. There's a pass in front, there's Scala! That hits the side of the net. And we'll have a whistle. You can see Scarlett down low. Gets it back out. Nice feed to Sammons. Couldn't lift it. Sammons was going top shelf. Couldn't get enough on it. And Scarlett wasn't able to go the backhand. Paddy Meyer, superb again. So we see that line still together. The Sammons, Scala. Clark Crumpton line. Head coach Graham Hyde trying to overpower the Lightning with those three offensive players. Here's Scala.
Cycles it back. McClellan gathers at the, at the wall. Fires a shot. Deflected in behind the net. Iskala. And Brisbane are able to clear the puck. But that will be called back for icing. Looks like a lot of tired legs out there. And unfortunately for the Lightning, they like to stay out there for a little bit longer. But for a 0 0 scoreline, Gordon, it's been a really good game of hockey. It hasn't been a neutral zone trap battle at all. It has been some good end to end action. Does Perth hold it in the zone here? Irvine pinches to try to keep the puck in. Is unsuccessful, and here's an opportunity for the Lightning. Abby Webb just impeded the pro the progress there, allowed the defense to come back. Stolen deep in the zone. Crompton with a shot on goal that evades Sasha King. Pass comes out front. Carlisle fires from the from distance. That didn't miss by much. Here's McKenzie pressured by Brown. And now Brisbane look like they've got some legs here. McKenzie comes out with it. And the puck goes over the boards and out of play. I think the Inferno were looking for a, a trip. They didn't get the call. The Carlisle nearly found that left hand corner and i think sasha king this one here just no vision for king didn't miss didn't miss by much the inferno are able to chip the puck up and into the zone here's salmons got some support down low uses it his scala Fires on Meyer and Meyer with a save. Well, we've said it all night, Gordon. Katie Meyer down in the butterfly, just positioned herself well. Everything just seems to be hitting the logo. Face off one by the Inferno. Pass comes across. Shot goes wide. He's broken. Broken spins, but there's an Inferno play to pick it off. It's Scala. Scala takes two whacks at it. Meyer saves the first. Second goes wide. He's broken. And the shell cut comes in. Gets a weak shot in. Sammons comes out with it in the corner. Tries to cut in front. Player down. Scala is down in the slot. And we'll have a whistle. Unbelievable again. Katie Meyer, that go wide or she get a pad to it? I'm not sure. The play continued and Scala went down. Katie Meyer lost her stick. It was all happening. Katie's Myers stick on the ice. So Larpet just isn't able to keep that puck in. Has some support from Magnuson. Lavaxis advances it. Here's Kilgallen. Mc Lily McClellan. Nice little move to get it away from the boards. Puck comes fired in front of Vatsis. Isn't able to connect on that one. Lappin keeps it in. Brisbane. Able to clear the zone. And Mahoney is in after it. Or what? The 
It's, uh, it's, uh, the referees took the time with the whistle, but it did come, and we'll have a face-off. Brisbane Lightning captain Christina Badgley has come up with some big, big plays in this third period. Just being in the right position, getting a stick in to disrupt the pass, disrupt the play. Been a really big captain's performance in this third period. Setting an example for the rest of the group. It's been impressive stuff here from the Brisbane Lightning. Shanita Crompton. Well done by Abby Webb. The Brisbane. Back with it in the, in the neutral zone. Wear it in, have to clear. Abby Webb. She'll switch. Mackenzie now. Mackenzie has Acker in support. Acker drives to the net. Mackenzie! Her shot goes wide and she's steered into the boards. Brisbane clear. Nifty work there to gain the zone. Scarlet. Oh, that was Noddle. My apologies. Noddle with the backhand. Here comes Otto. That shot just steered wide, deflected wide. Brisbane still with it in behind the net. McDonald in a battle. Here's Noddle. Sammons, Sammons, speeding through the offensive zone. Stops up, waits with some support. Centering fee, but that's stolen by Dixon. Dixon in control. Scala, Scala forces a turnover. Here's McClellan. McClellan fires, and that's saved by Meyer. Good rebound control by Meyer, too, not to just deflect that with the pads directly back into the slot but into the corner she's done a good job of deflecting pucks into the corner or in behind the goal stolen in, in the neutral zone and now here come the inferno another wave that centering fee just evades Scarlet's stick Carlisle does enough to get it out. Mahoney's shot takes a deflection. Comes out of the zone. Here's Hokut. Resetting with Carlisle. You can hear the referees calling for the delayed offside. Brisbane are able to clear and go back in on the forecheck. That was nearly stolen in a dangerous position. But it's Mahoney with the puck. Nice little, nice edge work. Here's Brown. Brown fires a shot that's deflected. McClellan takes the deflection off the referee. Kilgallen. Kilgallen takes the skate. Drops it off for Larpin. Larpin fires. The Inferno players there didn't reach them. Cleared out by the Lightning. Another opportunity for Hill Gallon to try to gain his own. Skates through, takes the tumble, no call. Larpent tries to get the puck in, but that's good work from Brisbane. Christina Badgley again steals the puck. Fires a cross shot, just goes wide. Kill Gallon, impressive skater. Taken by Crompton. Crompton. Here come the Lightning. Abby Brown in the corner. Shot just goes in behind the net. King sealed to the post.
Nice little nifty stick work there. And the Inferno are away. There's a shot and it's a goal! The Perth Inferno in the dying moments of this third period have finally got a puck past Katie Meyer. Marina Noddle, just an individual brilliance through the neutral zone. The nice hands. See the replay, gets the puck, beautiful work. Just a shot from distance. Might have taken a deflection maybe. Katie Meyer tried to glove it. Two minutes to go. The Perth Inferno take the first lead of the match. Well, the Brisbane Lightning have called a timeout here to regroup, get some energy. Marina Noddle scored, scored a, a beauty of a goal against the Lightning in that 9-0 to, to zero victory. An absolute dart from distance that found the top corner. She scored a vital goal here. Will it stand up as the game winner? We will find out in a few minutes. But great work just to be able to, to deke through the neutral zone. And yes, you, it did look like it, it took a deflection. It was fluttering. Its flight was, was slightly changed. And fooled Katie Meyer. Interesting to see what the Lightning do for the last couple of minutes here. Do they push Alice and Carlisle up into a forward role just for the final couple of minutes? And do they, when do they pull the goaltender? That's the other question. Salmon's able to chip the puck in. Clark Crumpton after it. Back to Scala. Scala centering feed to Irvine. Irvine's shot goes wide. Clark Crompton back to Scala. Scala. Inferno are able to keep it in the zone, but now Lightning are able to clear. Aren't able to retain possession though. A minute and a half to go. Shots 33 to 23 in favor of the Inferno. Carlisle retrieves the puck in behind Pernet. They need to get the puck down the other end quickly. Here's Mahoney. Mahoney fires from distance. That's blocked by Lakodiak. Mahoney back with it. It looks like an extra attacker is out on the ice for the Lightning. The goalie has been pulled. Inferno, try to clear the zone. That's kept in by Rapture. Back down low. Brisbane player is pushed into the boards. No call. Inferno are able to clear only as far as neutral ice. Lightning players playing catch. Stolen in the neutral ice. Good pressure by the Lightning. Georgia Watts tries to chip the puck in, doesn't quite make it. Here's Carlisle, dumps the puck in. King stops and will have a whistle with about 15 seconds left. This is probably a good result for the Lightning with 15 seconds to go. Get a face off in the offensive zone. See if they can work out a play here. Got Carlisle there. It can really rip one. It's a big face off to win. Face off is won by the Lightning. Do I have time? Stolen by the Inferno. Shipped. Will this make it into the goal? Or... Sammons negates the icing call with her speed. Puck comes in front. Brisbane clear it out. One second left. And that'll do it. The Perth Inferno have scored late. Brisbane have fought so bravely this game. Down a player in Emma Wutherich. And the Perth Inferno 
have defeated the Brisbane Lightning 1-0. Sasha King with her second career AWHL shutout. What did you make of that 60 minutes of play, Andrew? What an unbelievable game of hockey, Gordon. A game that had absolutely everything. End-to-end -end hockey, some great chances, big hits, some penalties. This is a rivalry that is just building and building and building. And Sasha King, in the space of two weeks, gets two shutouts. Katie Meyer was absolutely unreal between the pipes for the Brisbane Lightning tonight. As you see King and Meyer, a big hug in the centre of the ice. Katie Meyer, 15 years of age. Sasha King, 20 years of age. It's great to see young, talented goaltenders like this in our competition. But both teams really evenly matched and just a great performance. It's good to see the players shaking hands after this contest. Uh... So thank you for joining us on uh, AWHL TV powered by Sportscast Australia. We'll be back tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. local time uh, for the uh, fourth game or second game this weekend between the Perth Inferno and the Brisbane Lightning. For Andrew McDougall and our producer, Matt, uh, I'm Gordon Goodenough. Good night. To the following partners Nesuto Apartments, Sportslink Travel, and Sportscast Australia for helping bring this sport to the fans. See you next time.